You're probably thinking, great, I can install Linux boxes on top of a Linux box. But we use Windows. So let me show you how you can create a Windows box and run it alongside all your Linux stuff. And that way, as you move to more open source solutions, you can just delete the Windows boxes. Of course I kid, we're just talking about making life easier using free software. So basically, to set up a Windows box, it's easy. First, go to the Appliance Templates page and upload an ISO file of the CD or put the CD into the CD drive. Then go into Virtual Machines and Create, and in the type select Fully Virtualized. And you're going to have a drop down that says Installation Media. If you've already uploaded an ISO, you can select it there. Then give it a name, set the disk space and how much RAM you want to give the machine and leave the disk type at IDE for now. Set the guest type appropriately and set the network card for vert.io and click create. The machine has been created and you can go ahead and start it. Then you're going to want to open the console which looks kind of crazy right now. There it is. And look, it's just that easy. The server 2008 installation has popped up and I can just go ahead and walk through it just as if it were any other kind of a virtual machine or physical machine. And I still get the live migrations and other handy tools that are available to me for Linux hosts. The only catch is, to use a fully virtualized or KVM machine, you have to have a CPU that supports um, physical um, hardware, uh, physical assisted virtualization. So it has to be an AMD Vert or Intel VI supporting CPU. Not too bad. Obviously I'm installing the version without Hyper-V because it's already virtualized. But as you can see you just go ahead and go on through the installation just as if it was a normal machine and there's another ISO file that you can download that has the drivers that you'll need to make the network card work but beyond that that's all there is to it um, I hope this was helpful and let me know if it was if it wasn't or if there's something you'd like to see uh, show at servercrowd.com